Welcome back everybody, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Today we're at Overland West and we're at the Ember RV display and I am with Chris and Austin and they are the engineers with Ember RV. Now I'm gonna really get the nuts and bolts. We got Austin over here, Chris over here, and uh, we're gonna do a walk around of the Ember RV product. All right, let's get started. From the ground up, tell me about this guy. I noticed that uh, we have the IS suspension that we worked with Kurt to develop. It's new, American made. That was one thing that we're very proud of. The other tubular frame structure, so it's a steel structure with a powder coat. It has an e-coat finish on that. Notice it has the drop down jacks here in the back. Very good, I mean, side to side stabilization. As long as they're all the way down. Here, I'm going to zoom kitchen. in on this suspension because sure. I, don't, I don't think people understand what this is. So this is a true independent suspension. Coil suspension with two uh, shocks as well. You move to the floor structure. It's a composite floor, one inch floor made in the States here in Ohio. Austin, if you want to talk about the wall structure. Yeah, so our walls are uh, fully composite. We really tried to eliminate wood in any of the exterior structures. So um, for side walls, we have fiberglass on the outside, uh, Asdale, which is a fully composite material right uh, inside of that. And we have one inch aluminum and foam block. Uh, and then we have Asdale on the inside as well. So. Two layers of Asdell. Mm -hmm. right. Now Asdell has a higher R rating than Luan as well. So now you got two layers of higher R rating. Yeah. So, that's awesome. And so that's the structure that is on all of our exterior. So um, whether that's side walls, rear wall, front wall, uh, ceiling. Now our ceiling and front walls, those are inch and a half instead of the one inch. Um, but everything on the outside is all fully composite. So no worry for rot, mildew, mold, yep. anything like that that could break down. That Asdell is pretty awesome. And so I, just, I saw a lot of high-end RVs and Renegade, that's one that has the outer and inner. Right. Uh, so to build like that on on a something that's towed is awesome. I, I really can appreciate that. Yeah. What's the uh, Ember 123 warranty? So the 123 warranty, and as you look at, so it's a one-time uh, transferable, a two-year limited warranty and a three-year limited structural warranty. Awesome, okay. That's that's pretty strong too for something that's towable. Yeah. All right, let's do a walk around to the outside, kind of show everybody what we got here, and then we'll we'll jump on the inside. We jump up to the front here. This is kind of where we have our for our solar, our inverter as well. To turn on and to, to show you where you're at, what your amperage you got right now. We we're putting in you know like five amps that we're going in from our solar. This one has our max solar package, which actually has uh, 570 watts of solar on the roof, and then uh, this one's equipped with. Uh, four uh, lithium 100 amps battleborne batteries actually nice. so yeah so even here at the show there is no hookup so we've been running the last two days on no on only just on solar just, just on, on solar, solar and That's batteries so. very cool um, we've had our coolers uh, set up and inside coolers and had some batteries turned the ac on a couple times um, and yeah we're down to 75 percent right now but but you'll get we're some more solar. Up. Yeah. We're just starting the day out. Well, we're in Arizona, so we'll have plenty of sun. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, cool. One other added feature on the front is we equipped it with a gearbox, what we call our gearbox. So we have uh, 40 pounds of, of LP here. Mm -hmm. uh, the other side is just storage, or if you did use a lead battery, you know, that, that has uh, the place for the lead battery to gotcha. go into as well. But uh, So that's the lead acid batteries are yeah. standard. The lithium and solar is the upgrade. Yep. Okay. And it's actually the lead, you would actually know, the lead you would actually put in the customer too. Okay. Yep. You yep. guys so don't put them in. We don't okay. put them in, no. And then one other thing, we have this, uh, what we call, it's the gate defender jack on the front. So you don't have this, allows you to, yeah, sorry. I'll just set it off to the side. Yep. And, uh, and that, so that, that gate is awesome right there. So now you have hooked up to your pickup, your yep. F-150, like you said, and you can pull down the tailgate, and we've experienced that on the way we pull the unit out. It makes it very nice yeah. as far as that goes. And then, of course, the coupler, like it is, allows you, if you want to put a like a lock and roll, a different type of uh, coupler on the front there, you're, you can do that, or you've got adjustability there, too. Because your regular leg comes right down. Man, that wobbles side to side, back and forth. Mm -hmm. So that stabilizer looks really beefy. Something we didn't talk about on the side are we have some wheel brakes. Um, we can probably walk around over here. Yeah, let's go. Um, Definitely. It's, they've got a portable panel plugged in there, too. 
So we talked about the that jack in the front, the stabilizer jacks on the side. We also have this wheel brake um, where this can, it has a little clip here that you can undo and then pull this back. There's a little cheater bar to help you uh, pull it away and then it can lock away when you're traveling. But then when you get to your campsite or wherever you're at, you can keep it from rolling. You can engage this and now this isolates so you don't have any movement this way. And those isolate movement side to side. Awesome. Oh, I dig it. I mean, I listen. I, I came to you guys for a reason. I just sold my Salem, which was basically this layout, mm -hmm. and I, I do a lot of off-grid. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to have to be at a campground. Yeah. You're not taking something like a Salem down to uh, Sedona. Right. You're not doing that. No, not the Schnebly Hill roll. Uh, and actually, we we had this particular model, the one you're talking about. Our owner, we pulled this out. We took it down and took it on Schnebly Hill. Right. And uh, actually tested it out on some. It was uh, it was pretty intense. Well, it was sure, yeah, it sure it's still moves around, but yeah. you're not taking a regular street right. travel trailer. No, no. Exactly. Now this yeah. with independent front and everything you got going on. Yep. Uh, it's it's awesome. One one more nice thing about this is so uh, a lot of people they they only camp during the summer and then they either store their camper during the winter or however it is, um, you can actually take this and you can remove this pin and actually put a padlock or something through here to Nobody's where stealing now it. it's yeah. locked security. Down. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I didn't even think about that. That's awesome. All right, well, let's, let's do a loop of the outside and then we'll jump on the inside. Hopefully there uh, won't be too many people on the inside. I know you guys are going to get busy later. Is the structure too is tied together with what we call our exoskeleton, so we're very proud of that. It turned out, you know, we started looking at how we can we tie the side wall, the back wall, uh, the the roof structure together, and so it's allowed us to do that. Obviously, we have we were able to do some decorative too, just to not make it look like a box. So we, you know, kind of have the wings there at the back, just to give it a little more flair. But uh, structurally, though, that that helps to tie everything together, and uh, so which is important for off-road. For yeah. sure. You don't yeah. want it to be racked. Yeah, and, I, exactly. and I notice everything that you guys are doing about that, even the liner from here down, where branches would be able to scratch anything up, you guys even thought about that. So, right. and pretty each awesome. And those corners, I mean, that whole exoskeleton is, at every part where it comes together, it's all attached. There's right. a joining piece, so it really is like an exoskeleton. It's just an outer layer, layer of protection even on those corners in case you hit a branch or something like right. that. I mean, that is eighth inch aluminum there too. Eighth inch, so. okay, that's pretty good. I like the hitch, yeah. put, put the bikes on there. Yep, bike hitch, this is like our kayak door. Um, so some of our floor plans allow you to, uh, this one there's nothing there in the way, but some might have a double bunk there, you could pull that up. Right. You can put kayaks or even a bike there if you want it. Our spare tire. Full tire or full size spare. Uh, same as what is on the actual yep. uh, tires. Aluminum. Yep. yep. Awesome. We, we prep it too for the three on the camera. You want the you know backup camera and the side side markers so it's prepped that side way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So our side cameras as well. Um, so. And that just runs off your running lights. So as soon as you turn your yep. your yep. headlights on, that'll that'll yep. power that. Yep. Okay. And, awesome. Uh, I know it's a nice feature. I mean. We uh, on the way out here, nice to have. And uh, so there's your 30 amp power in. We actually added the bracket here. You know, the ladder, like you said, makes it versatile. Now we added this here, so you could easily get up and get to your if you had a slide out. So you get like up a tunnel, yeah, clean it, clean it, clean it, it, whatever. Also, yeah. We do have our one place termination here. Uh, they have uh, cable valves that are up in the front um, in kind of our docking station. We can go up there in a little bit and okay. show you where those poles are. But one location for those as well okay. you probably notice too as you come around then the euro style windows yes and so, so I, I i know these because some of the motorhomes like I, I sold heimer back in the day okay so the heimers had the dual pane acrylic windows yep. which are awning windows they're dual pane uh you just don't want to clean them with anything because they craze yeah so you gotta you gotta definitely know about that but screen and shade built in right yes and yeah, uh, yeah you are, get to see that on the inside actually how that yeah. all it's kind that's of a awesome nice, nice feature very nice feature <laughs> One other thing is we do, are all a key to like. Okay. Um, so all of one our key system. Yeah. yeah. One key awesome. Uh, oh this man. This is our uh, our docking station. So this is something that you would see often in more of the luxury fifth wheel. I had a Montana. Two um, of them. Yeah. So this is how my wet day was was in the Montana. Yep. And this right here, this is one of our cords that goes to that solar on the side. Okay. So uh, you could put whatever solar you want there. Uh, we've got a hundred watt solar panel on the front. But yeah, this is our 
docking station, winterize, sanitize, a little outside shower. We do have a spray port on the door side as well. saw that. This is hot and cold. That's such just for rinsing stuff, yep. dishes, whatever. Yep. Yep. Have That's a wash right. basin over there. Yep. Man, you guys fill the dog dish bowls. We are. I can't get over just like all of the stuff that you guys put into this thing. It's like it's got all of your high end stuff. Yeah. You know. These are also uh, they come with the tire link, so TPMS. Oh, get out of here. Um, and that be your battery disconnect. disconnect. And we have uh, tank heaters as well, 12 volt heat pads on each of our tanks, oh, uh, which we do have a 55 gallon fresh. Um, 35 gray and 35 black. Yeah, that, that's that's amazing. Weight wise, what are we what are we looking at dry? How much can I load it to? This guy dry is uh, 4400 about 4400 pounds. So it's pretty heavy. Yeah. And then uh, I want to say GWR. Depending on the model, I think we're around 5,500. Okay, um, so about a thousand yeah. pounds. That's yep. that's yep. strong. Yep. I mean, you're not going to get more. You don't, you don't need more than that. Yeah, right. You put some stuff in a tow vehicle. Yep. Right. And All we right, have cool. some. So this would be like our 19 foot box units. Um, we have some 17 foot lighter box weight. Units. Yeah. Um, okay. Those I is, think. Are is this one of your heaviest units or no? That's a. It's about there. Yeah, that 4,500 mm -hmm. pound. Okay. Uh, they go down some of those uh, 17. 4,041, yeah. right in that area. Yeah. Okay. Um, my, uh, about about that so my Salem was about 3,500 pounds, gotcha. and yeah. I probably put maybe six or 800 pounds worth of stuff in it. So my truck will tow this, my van will still tow this, so I'm yeah, not worried about for that. For sure. And yeah, a lot of the, the weight, I mean, we have that, what we call that trailblazer chassis, where it is designed for off-road with that independent suspension. A tubular steel frame, which we talked about earlier, that's going to definitely be heavier, but uh, in order to go off-road and right. be able to withstand a lot of that rocking around and taking the abuse from yep. those trails, you kind of have to have a stout chassis. You do, bottom. absolutely. Talk about the uh, Truma. Truma. The Truma Combi. So yeah, this is equipped with a, uh, that Combi, so you have, uh, of course, your hot water and your, your furnace and your all combined. Yeah, your so it's just... Combined. Hydronic, basically, yeah. a small hydronic yeah, system, and, and it's it's 12 volt, uh, so you know it's just nice. Obviously, in, in LP, but uh, uh, as far as that goes, you know it makes it. Uh, I know, like this morning, nice nice hot shower, and uh, oh, you guys are standing. Simple. Yeah, oh, we that's are. Awesome. We're actually camping uh, yeah. in one, so it's uh, it's been a great experience. Awesome. And, uh, so let's just test it out, and see see Very how everything's cool. going. So yeah, we were really uh, uh, lucky to be able to have our CEOs and uh, some of the founders actually allowed Chris and I to drive one of the, uh, the founders units out here. So he purchased one of the units and uh, so we're manufactured in Northern Indiana, um, but we uh, ended up driving one of those units out here, stayed at a couple campgrounds along the way, went through the Rockies, did some just testing of our own to yeah. really see if and use these things for ourselves and be able to see kind of what some of the customers are, are experiencing. And, uh, I, I, I really like hearing this because engineers sometimes don't use stuff and they design stuff based on their engineering mm -hmm. knowledge, right. not based on usage knowledge. So you guys are going to build it now based on your experience of staying in it. And to me, that is super important. If I need to go change something, and you guys are going to make a rolling change because you were out here using it and said, hey, we needed to do this, but we couldn't get to it because this was in the way. That, yeah. that to me is very important. I think people need to know stuff like that. And this this particular model is a good example of that. You know, as we get inside and see the functionality in the back there of the, the adjustable beds, that was something that came to us, uh, you know, from the end users. There, Can we have something like this that uh, you're going to have more versatile, versatility back there? And yeah. so. Uh, so we jumped on that, you know, about two months ago, and were able to, to successfully do that. So awesome. far, it's been, it's been uh, good. Everybody's been pretty excited. Yeah, I'm digging this floor plan. I can't wait to get inside. <laughs> this is where the uh, side view yeah, cameras go, yeah. right there. All right, I think we're done with the outside. We yeah. are. One other thing here, and we we kind of developed this when Austin designed uh, this particular piece too. Is just a kind of guard. So you get in, you get branches, and oh, that yeah. kind of would deflect from that It'll stargazer. It yeah, yeah, the, up top. Oh, there's a panel up there. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. it's actually your 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 it's a Euro window. We call okay. it a stargazer, but yeah. is it built like the side windows? It is. It's awesome. uh, the exact same size as this on your roof there. We can pop that open. Yeah. yeah. A hot air or even just see the stars at night open yeah. it up and awesome let's in a lot of light as well all right guys that is the outside let's go take a look at the inside of this gorgeous trailer one thing we we missed over here was this does have a full pass through um the lithium does take up some of that section but still got full pass through for, for the longer stuff well i didn't even see the tent 
Yeah. I didn't even see the tent. All right, so we're gonna go around this little guy real quick. Um, take it away. So it's built basically the same as the other one, right? No yeah, difference. Same, same, same uh, it doesn't thing. have the stabilizer in the front. It doesn't have the stabilizer. It has just a, a pivoting, a swivel jack here, roller jack. Mm -hmm. Equipped with the gearbox, though. Yeah. Uh, has 40 pounds of propane as well. And we've got the added 100 watts. It's got 190 watt that it comes with standard. Comes with the Thule rack and the kayak rack. That's standard. Then you can option in to have the AC, which this one does on the, the side AC. Uh, the tent, the Takui, two-man tent, that's a, that's part of an option, so you can get the tent as well. And then two inside, as with the bigger one, uh, so you can get the Truma Combi. Uh, so that's part of it, so the water heater uh, furnace combo as well. But as far as the, the framework, still tubular construction, uh, the IS suspension system um, as well has the parking brakes and of course in the back the drop down jack so it gives you the stability mm -hmm. and then uh, of course couples kind of a couples coach or it could be a family yeah you get the kids up top yeah you can put the kids that's up that's camping yeah that is you know, <laughs> they, they love that that's and it's right. got ac i see it has a side ac unit that's right very nice we made it like the inside here is just folds down into a bed so for a, a mom and dad or, or whatnot plus you have the seating you use it like as a little mobile office oh. uh, swivel table that's in there you can pull right over or, you know your laptop whatever you throw on there and okay, i'm gonna do a quick loop around the outside yeah, and then we'll, sure. we'll take a peek at the inside so built just like the other one really like the mobile panel too that's good that is cool <laughs> amazing and what i really like is this around the front here that is cool so the brother to this is what we call the roll. This is the ROK, a rear outside kitchen that rolls a rear outside locker. So what it does is you just don't have this space is all open, it's locker space. So for the guy that wants it. to throw. It's, it's rock and roll. He got it, That's rock cool. and roll. <laughs> you got it. So anyways, and uh, so the owner, uh, her, her son, he wanted to name one rock. Yep. And so that's where this really came. And so we, we did. We successfully were able to pull that off. Get the side, full side spare tire on the side. So you got the Truma, you got your outside entertainment. Nice little griddle there. Yep. Very cool. All right, let's see if it's empty. We'll take a peek at the inside and then we'll go get the big one. Oh, very cool. This is your little tabletop here. So that's kind of like a futon bed there. It is. Got a workstation, AC's there. Same solar setup. Roof vent. Fan. A little bit of storage. And equipped with the Euro windows as well. Yeah. Out. Very cool. All right, we're headed on the inside. I want to stop here at the step, Chris. This is not a step you normally see on a on a travel trailer. Oh, so this is the fold up step uh, LCI we get, and uh, yeah, it's just solid very, step, man. That does solid, not move. I mean, I'm I'm stomping on that thing. It's not making the the camper move. Uh, of course, this is a, a full uh, residential queen, um, so that we were able to put into this Murphy bed. Of course, when you're done sleeping or you want to go in the other mode, uh, and then uh, you go into sofa mode, and then you're just sitting. So, anyways, uh, also. As you know, know the way, so that was one of the things, just the functionality of it. We tried to look through that to try to make it as not clunky and... Uh, no, that was easy. Yeah, that was like two seconds, easy. it was up. TV's over here, I love that position because you have another sofa over here. And there's two of these tables. This you can put on uh, underneath the sofa. Then we this one is equipped, as we mentioned, the Max Solar. So here's your Master Volt 3000 watt inverter. And you have lithium storage underneath that as well. The true Combi sits over here uh, as well underneath. These are nice sofas too, the material. That that seems like it'd be pretty durable. Yeah, we're very happy with uh, with that. Now, as far as uh, counter space and storage, we do have a top that fits in, so it gives you a little bit more there. In this particular model, obviously, and just a little bit of storage up top. Comes with the microwave, that's an option. Um, if you don't want the microwave, then you can just have extra cabinet little space. Little burner cook top? Yeah. yeah most, most people are cooking outside, so that's plenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is a 12 volt reefer? Yes, it is. 10 cubic. Awesome. That's huge. For <laughs> That's huge for this size of a trailer. Man. Excellent. 
All right, how many uh, BTUs? Is this a 15 or? 13. 13? 13 five. That's plenty for this. You don't need more than that for this. Uh, it seems to do for this really well in RV. Uh, what we found so far. As you come to the back, of course. Let me switch spots with you. Your, your bathroom space, I know we've had, we tried to make it as, as big as we could, you know, to get in and, and think about the, the person standing in there and, and giving a little bigger skylight so you have the headroom. Is that porcelain toilet? It yeah. is. Get out of here. Guys, this thing is just awesome. Gotta love that. All right, now let's get to the business. This is what makes this oh, unit for me. Talk about that too. You designed this? Uh, so actually, uh, this was one of the other engineer's ideas. His name okay. was Spencer Brown. Uh, okay. We worked together. Given credit. Um, yes, that's right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we. So I guess to start off, normally. Uh, one of our first floor plans was a double over double bunk. So pretty much every RV manufacturer makes a floor plan similar I had it. to this. That's the Salem yep. Yep. 172 and DBK. There you've got like a little flip up here for your kayak storage. Oh, I didn't even have a, a storage. There was no door on the back of mine. Gotcha. There was storage underneath yep. there, but not So we have a there. floor plan that has a flip up there mm -hmm. um, with an outside kitchen underneath. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of people that didn't have kids or um, just weren't going to use that space for bunks oftentimes. And so they said, I want something different. Some people wanted a pantry. Some people wanted a room for hanging clothes. Some people wanted a desk. Some people just wanted storage for more bikes. Um, and so we heard all that consumer feedback and we said, what can we do to address this? Um, uh, ask that people keep wanting. So uh, what Spencer kind of came up with and all of our team worked together on getting this uh, figured out is coming up with an adjustable bunk system. So as you can see, this is kind of a single bunk location here. Mm -hmm. We've got the two bunk mats, so that one could definitely go down. This is another bunk that we're just showing in the up position. Obviously you could take both of these bunks, move them all the way up if you wanted. More storage. Or yeah. More storage, you could actually remove them, take them out if you didn't even want them. We have three other um, e-track pieces on the side um, for either tying things down, um, putting uh, hammocks in here. Uh, this is appropriately space where you could actually use it as a desk if you wanted. Um, do you have a screen set up for that? We do. Thing? We do. Yeah, actually, Not at all. <laughs> Not at yeah, all. Yeah, That's, that I would leave that. that wide open if it's like this. Yeah, yeah right. Leave it wide open, just have the screen there. Mm -hmm. yep. All kinds of pass-through air going on. Right. It's awesome. And it's even nice, I mean, with that huge door on the outside, just like you were saying, you can easily load things in, take it out. And we've even added a 13 by, or a 30 by 15 window there for mm -hmm. some added light. Um, and get this and e tracking on this side. This is, this is just awesome. And that so. e-track is, it's non-proprietary, so it's not like a specialty um, part. So you can actually see, we've got a couple different ones. This is just a nice little latch. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go on Amazon or e-trailer. So attachments. There's yeah, thousands right. of attachments. So if you wanted to make a little shelf here, you could go on there and find some attachment that would allow you to even make this totally different if you wanted to make it some right. something else. Now what I would use that for, and uh, did you mention it already? A desk. Yeah, uh, a desk, yeah. It, it's perfect. It's I mean, a workstation, get a little folding chair, man, you're, or even a rolling chair, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. You have plenty of space. Yeah, we've had, uh, we had one uh, lady in yesterday and she, she wants the extra counter space, so that's, you know, she, she yeah. can do that. We've had some that uh, they want to use it as a little uh, bar area maybe, they'll lower it down and so now they can serve outside. Sure, sure. So uh, there's a lot of versatility, versatility yes, there. I see that, so, excellent. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, listen, I know that you're you're here to sell, and I've taken up enough of your time, so <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go so that you can get back to work. But I, I really appreciate you taking the time to do this video with me, yeah, and uh, thank nice. you a lot. Yeah, All right? Appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. All right, fellas. Excuse me.